If you were to stop the average person on the street and ask them, hey, do you know that there's 10 other business units that Tesla has besides the cars? And can you name a couple of them? They would probably struggle a little bit. And that's why I wanted to create this series. This is number two of why Tesla is so much more than just a car company. And nowhere is that clearer than in Tesla's robo-taxi plans, which could turn the company into an autonomous cash machine and push its stock price to levels that sound almost ridiculous, but just wait until you see the numbers. This is part of a test series. If you'd like to see part one, please visit the playlist Label Tesla, where will Tesla be five years from now, part one. So let's dive into RoboTaxi, what it actually is and why it is such a big deal for us investors. Imagine calling an Uber, but instead of a human driver, a Tesla pulls up completely on its own. If you've never seen a Waymo before, I live in the Arizona area, so I've seen many of them. But you hop in, tell it where to go, and it drives you safely. No weird smells in the car, no candy wrappers on the floor, just you, a clean vehicle, and no potential for any safety implications. And as a woman, that is something to be favored. But it's also no driver wages, no tip required, just software and electric motors quietly getting to where you need to go. Now, Tesla has been training their AI, their FSD, on over 3 billion miles of real world driving data. I personally own a Tesla and it just gets better every single day I'm in it, which absolutely dwarfs competitors such as Waymo. And there's all sorts of other ones that are popping up now recently. They have only logged about 25 million driverless miles. Now that massive data edge means that Tesla's system is learning faster and handling more edge cases every day, which is critical for making full autonomy safe and reliable. For investors like us, this changes the game because it shifts Tesla's business model from selling cars once, one time, to generating revenue every single time a Tesla gives someone a ride. Think about this. Most cars, they sit parked 95% of the time, collecting dust and losing value. But your robo-taxi could be out there earning money practically 24-7, turning what used to be a depreciating asset into a profit center for you or for a household. Now, of course, there are going to be hurdles. Regulatory approvals, especially in places like California, could slow things down. And the technology still has to prove itself in the wild. There's weird real-world scenarios like crazy weather or unexpected roadwork situations. But if Tesla pulls this off... The numbers are staggering. So let's start with CERN Basher, one of my favorite analysts, who's done some phenomenal modeling work on Tesla. He sees RoboTaxi to about 20 million vehicles by 2034 and estimates that each RoboTaxi could bring in roughly about 10,000 in annual profit after accounting for costs like maintenance and insurance, which is a bit more of um, a conservative estimate that I'm, what I'm about to show with some other analysts. Um, but the level of scale could drive a jaw-dropping $22 trillion valuation for Tesla's robo-taxi business alone if it's rolled out globally. You heard me right, total global domination. Even achieving just a piece of that would be transformational for the company's stock price. Then there's ARK Invest, who I can't not do a Tesla valuation without Kathy Wood. I know she's bullish, but hear me out. They're projecting that by 2029, RoboTaxi could account for 90% of Tesla's entire valuation, with annual revenue ranging from $603 billion in conservative scenarios up to $951 billion if everything goes perfectly planned the way that Tesla wants. They are predicting margins of around 32%, which is a little bit higher, obviously, than traditional car manufacturing margins, turning Tesla into more of a software and services powerhouse, a SaaS company, than just a car company. Now, James from Invest Answers is also an amazing Tesla analyst, and he's 
a little bit more optimistic, calling RoboTaxi a near-term explosion. He's betting growing to about 5 million RoboTaxis by 2030 and estimates that that could bring in around $100 billion in annual revenue with margins as high as 60%. He believes this single business unit could drive Tesla toward a $3 trillion market cap by 2027, making RoboTaxi the sleeping giant that's about to wake up and redefine the entire transportation industry. Now, if you are newer to investing, just a quick reminder about revenue versus profits, because it is a key to understanding, you know, how to evaluate a stock and why everyone is so excited about RoboTaxi. Now, revenue is simply the total money coming in, like all of the fares that people pay for the rides, but profits are what is left over after subtracting the costs, like the vehicle maintenance, electricity, insurance. And again, Tesla is going to share this with the owners of the cars, if they're not going to be the Tesla uh, robo taxi, they're potentially thinking about partnering with people who already have Teslas, which could completely explode this to exponential levels. The magic with robo taxi is that once the technology is working at scale, the costs begin to drop dramatically. No driver salaries, lower wear and tear because EVs have fewer moving parts. They only have about 40 moving parts versus 3,000 moving parts with a gas engine. And Tesla's already handling software updates over the air. Now, analysts think that Tesla could keep anywhere from 30 to even 60% of the revenue as pure profit. CERN Basher sees about 10,000 in annual profit per robotaxi, and ARC believes it could be as much as 30 to 50,000 in high scenarios. For everyday investors like us, this means Tesla could potentially grow its earnings massively without needing to sell more physical cars. And that's what makes RoboTaxi so powerful for the company. Now, some analysts like Tom Lee say that RoboTaxi could be Tesla's golden ticket to the next driving revolution. The first big reason is utilization. Regular cars, they sit idle most of the time, but robotaxis could be in use for 50% of the day or more, earning tens of thousands of dollars per year in fares. Even if Tesla only keeps 20% of that revenue, it's still a huge number. Second, the margins are incredible. Traditional car manufacturing might get you 20% or 30% profit margins, if you're lucky. Now, robotaxi could run at 60% they don't have to manage a fleet. It's the driver's job to maintain the vehicle. Um, if, you know, we're farming out the cars, the Model Ys, as they're doing now, or they're actually sending out invites, they just sent out invites this week to Tesla owners if they want to be participating in this program. Now, that might change once the Tesla robotaxis go into production, but we're not quite there yet. Now, Tesla's massive data advantage also cannot be overstated. With over 3 billion miles of full self-driving, and if you have never experienced full self-driving, I highly recommend it. It's um, kind of life-changing, not going to lie. They are literally miles ahead of competitors. They have already expanded in Austin, <laughs> and they launched like three weeks ago, which is insane. Keep in mind, they still have to go state by state, country by country, regulatory approvals, but the U.S. leads the way. And when we have the use case, when it comes to these approvals, they could go global very, very quickly. To ship a Waymo or a Jaguar overseas, we're talking, it, it just can't scale the way that Tesla can. Now, there are safety glitches and regulatory approvals that have still yet to be recognized, so we have to be cautious about that. But... ARC's data suggests that Tesla's FSD might already be five times safer than human drivers, which is a huge selling point for regulators and uh, consumers. So if Tesla captures even 10 to 20 percent of the global rideshare market, which is already around 450 billion and could grow to over a trillion as costs drop, that translates to 45 billion to 90 billion in annual revenue by 2030. That alone could add hundreds if not thousands, to Tesla stock. Now, all of these analysts have different timeframes, so you do the math and just take it from me. Stock price usually goes up with these, with these amounts of evaluation. So if you're building your own portfolio, this could be the type of investment that multiplies your money five to 10 times over the next decade. Now, here's the bottom line. Waiting for perfect clarity in a disruptive technology like this usually means missing out on 
very big exponential gains. That's what this channel is about. We have five to 10 years where us as early investors are usually the ones that can get in on this and can win big. Now, in the next video, we'll talk about Tesla's full self-driving software just by itself and how licensing it to other automakers could open up entirely new revenue streams. Meanwhile, Tesla stock is sitting at around $330 right now. And in my opinion, that is an absolute steal if RoboTaxi takes off like all of these analysts predict. So if this video fired you up, drop your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for the rest of my Tesla series. And let's build some wealth together. I'll see you on the next one.